You know, fear stops a lot of people from doing all that they were created to do, being all that God created them to be, and having all that he created them to have. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the Apostle Paul tells us, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Some people even let fear stop them from loving. They've been hurt a couple of times, or, you know, something didn't work out, and they give up. They stop loving, they stop believing in themselves. But that's not who you are. So come on, it's the spirit. Let's speak to it like this. Come on, say with me. In the name of Jesus, I curse the spirit of fear. Come on. In the name of Jesus, I curse the spirit of fear. Come on, one more time. In the name of Jesus, I curse the spirit of fear. I forbid your operation in my life. Come on, say that with me. I forbid your operation in my life. Come on, say it again. I forbid your operation in my life. Say it like you mean it. I forbid your operation in my life. Now let's confess this because this is who you are. I am powerful. Come on. In the name of Jesus, come on, I am powerful, I am loving, I have a sound mind. Come on, say it like this. In the name of Jesus, I am powerful, I am loving, I have a sound mind. Come on, say it again. In the name of Jesus, I am powerful, I am loving, I have a sound mind. And in the mighty name of Jesus, yes, you do. You are powerful, you are loving, and you have a sound mind. And guess what? This year, you're going to the top. Fear is not stopping you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.